Let's see what they say about this. Yeah, absolutely. And the short yeah, like I, yeah. I would never play Genshin again after, after this <laughs> combat and like how much I'm enjoying it. But then it's like, well, Fontaine's coming and like maybe that changes everything, <laughs> you know? Not long but like th this has really killed any urge to like even see what's going on in that game. Um, and yep. even for Honkai Star Rail, it's like, do I need to play HSR right now? Do I do I have like an urge? I haven't really logged in. I was hoping that this game would have a little bit more replayable systems or like long term systems. But after you've explored the world, like it, I don't know. I I think that they released undercooked uh, quite a bit. The localization issues, just the amount of content you can do. I recognize that I am sweaty and I've played way more hours than everyone else. But you have to look at like longevity and replayability and what you can do. And I just don't think it's there if they wanted to take market share and keep it. I think I think they took market share for for three weeks, but I I just don't think it's got that that staying power if they don't start releasing shit. Soon. Yeah. yeah. So our character levels cap at ninety, right? Mm. So for holograms, I think most people are going to stomp it once they're at level. Because if you if most of us are at unit thirty plus, right? So if you if you're level 60 characters and you take it against a hologram level 60 boss, it's pretty much a cakewalk. It's not that hard. Like the DP, it's, it's as long as you're not absolutely awful at dodging and like you're not getting hit left and right, you will kill it. I mean, you'll probably not kill it like in a minute. You'll probably mm. run like three minutes, four minutes even depending on your DPS, but like you'll kill it, right? So when we get to 90, I think it'll pretty much be very straightforward for most people. And it's my expectation was on release that they would give us more like level 100, 110, et cetera. But like that doesn't, as of yet, we don't know. Um, I think tower as well. I do wonder how long it will take for most mm. people to clear tower. The thing is like right now, there is little to do, but it's the same with how HSR and Genshin, well, Genshin's different. HSR was the same way where we kind of just suffered with lack of content. There was a period where there was just like, like less to do, right? There's less stuff for us to do, which is fine, right? Like I said, I, I don't think gacha games are meant to be played like 24 seven and you're supposed to be here like, you know, sweating it out. I don't think like you're supposed to be on these games because there's a, there's a, a resin system, a, 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 a energy system, a wave plate system for a reason i think this is crazy tech yeah. i think everything that y'all are saying is completely invalid on how the game state is uh, and the reason why i say that is because every other game that launches people always complain about the lack of content but in reality that's by design and i think casual gotcha is the most important thing is that you can log in do all of your dailies in five minutes and then play the next gotcha thank uh, you i don't think the lack of content is an issue at all I thank think you what they meant to do yo and i think that we'll just be update by update because none of these gotchas are meant to be played full-time and if you want that just farm echoes are we just gonna be like genshin impact status quo of abyss 12 the same tower versus no, same level no 90 because hologram. right now again like it's like they just launched hsr did the same thing and hsr has given us so much content afterwards so yeah no he's no it, yeah you know what you know what common common techie dub right there the next like did people think that genshin impact had content when it came out uh i think fob is scared that it's going to be stuck in the lull state at how Genshin is because Genshin only has Spiral Abyss right now. They only recently introduced a newer end game content, but that's just recent, like within the last, like what this, this patch, this update, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't, I haven't been on Genshin in a long time, but like it's only been Spiral Abyss for as long as it's like four years now. Four years Hold for on. Genshin to now announce a different mode right like is weathering sure. ways going to do the same thing that's what i'm well, saying right? I mean, I'm, not, I'm not saying i'm out of content right now because i still have tons of stuff to clear yeah, what i'm saying yeah. is like i hope kuro takes that into account and sees all the complaints that genshin has had and of course. Like, okay you know they've shown us what they've they've done wrong and like you know angered a lot of players let's do that for our games that's what i'm saying yeah see, for sure i i just don't think they're going to do that because they already have the echo which allows player to play longer uh and so yeah I, I just, I just, I, don't God. i actually i actually have a take on that i feel like echoes um is actually in the long term a much quicker system than genshin and hsr like artifacts uh, yeah, we've agree. already got like max out god tier echoes because you could you could yeah the fact that you could fish first line and second line on crit rate crit damage with minimal exp investment and already have the optimal stats going into it like it just is a complete different world than trying to get crit hit crit hit crit hit crit it you know
Yeah, absolutely. I feel like it's a very different economy if you're going to be a casual and you don't find overall because the only way you get it is from test of fields. So like if they don't spam the main boss and they don't spend the three cost, they don't really have the luxury streak, yeah. of going through like, okay, let me just roll the first two subsets and if it's bad, I'm just going to toss it away. There'll probably be a lot less main stats for the casual player base. So they probably have to go to like plus three or like even plus four just to see, hope for like a double crit. So maybe they roll... But that's okay. But that's that's okay. But the issue isn't, again, the overworld echo farming. Crit for like the first line and then the next two, three lines, they just don't roll crit. They might not even have the luxury to just give up because they just don't even have enough main stats. So when this problem happens for them, the fact that you can only get back 30% of your tuners is right. really, really bad. And then you Thank end up with the fact that you're purple and boost are completely useless. Thank I feel like you. The, the kind of your point about saying that casuals are going to be f***ing resources for uh, uh, rolling echoes, I don't really think that casual players will be going for perfect echoes. I think they'll just be playing the game for fun. Yeah, yeah, they don't, they don't care about, about that. Exactly, yeah. If they don't want to care about Mimax, then definitely they won't care about it. it, 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 it that was a crazy realization for me, is realizing how much casuals do not give a f*** about the things that hardcore players give a f*** about. And mm -hmm. like from a business perspective, how much it really just does not matter because the casual players are always the majority. And it's it's a, it's very doomer the more you like think about it because it's like I know. Really is no reason to change, and that's why yeah. my question is is Kuro gonna do the same thing Genshin does because they realize at the end of the day less than twenty percent of their player base does holograms and less than twenty percent of their player base pushes tower adversity, will they bother? I I essentially want Genshin or I essentially want Wither and mm -hmm. Waves, but. I can just keep grinding like almost MMO levels. And and so example would be like um all of us could get up to like union level 30, whatever it is, but the only way to get to union level 35 or 40 would be beat all the bosses at tier four. And so it's like I'm getting echoes, oh. I'm getting weapons, I'm getting upgrades. And then if yeah. I want to go to the next stage, I'd have to beat those. And then I could get better stuff and like it would be this progression thing. And same with the towers, like you there would be these there would be these spots where it's like i need to either get good or i need to farm better gear to beat them but i could farm gear endlessly i could play endlessly if i really wanted to and like someone who grinds more than me or is better than me will beat that before me but but now i am limited by time i can't progress any faster than logging in and getting my daily quest done using my daily energy or spending some money and like it's like some of the core mechanics of this game I love them. Addicted. I, I I just wish that I could play it at my pace, which I understand is probably not a healthy pace. Uh, it's but it's just I, I essentially want this game, but Final Fantasy or or this game MMO. Like and and I just I don't think I'll ever <laughs> okay. do that. Okay. All right. Hot take here. He needs to he needs to find another game. M Tash. I get it. I understand. It's on MMO though. He's asking for right MMO. Right MMO when, okay? You no, know, he's literally asking for an MMO game where you can literally have an unhealthy addiction of just sitting on the PC and just grinding. Like, wow. Right? RuneScape. Uh, you know, Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, what else, right? These are all, like, games that you can just stay on forever and grind forever and do whatever you want. Endless content, right? Um, gotcha games, though. I don't know if they're going to have that literally um you know I, it's really hard there's nothing bad with what he's asking for it's just not a gotcha game i don't think gotcha games are again like i'm i'm on the boat with techie i don't think it's meant to be played like 24 7 or like unhealthy amounts to degree and it's funny because i've seen some comments that are like why is m tash glazing this game so much and it's like because mm. i'm just having fun like it's a good yep. good time and i hope it stays that way for a while and i i hope the game succeeds long term and everything but it's it's just kind of crazy seeing the contrast of how many people are having a very different experience and they're having a terrible time and they can't play the f game and you know it's it's just kind of sad because I think there is a lot of good bones here or potential here and I I just hope that Kuro can kind of get it under wraps and figure it out. I hope they add more end game combat modes too. Like for the casual players, I feel like they should also add some challenges where anyone can feel like they can tackle. Like the holograms, you can tackle, yeah. but. I feel yep. like a lot of people would just put it off. It's like, I'll do it when I level up. I'll do it when my yeah. characters yeah. grow stronger. Yo, yeah, holograms, I'll be like honest. I'm just doing it for achievements, and I'm like, I don't got time for this shit. Like, don't even have time for this shit. I'm going to go for this shit that's time, like, timed, right? I, I, I don't care for it too much, I'll be honest. I'm like, you know, it's there forever. Like, I'll just do it later. Or have adversity. Literally, just in the back of my mind. I was thinking it could mind. be cool if they could have, like, individual character challenges. Like, modes where it kind of incentivizes you to learn the character to be able to clear it. Like for yeah. instance, take dungeon. That's good. If 
if we had like a Danjing challenge, it would be like every third flower you applied with Danjing would increase the damage taken by like a hundred percent. This is the same thing that I proposed to you when we were talking about this. Was like you can make a game that caters to both hardcore and casuals. But the way you have to do that, because this is a PVE game, it's a lot easier. The way that you couldn't cater to both casuals and hardcore players in Lost Ark was because you needed to pair up with people with the clear content. So if you were pairing up with someone that's casual and didn't know what their class is, like what Sweet Tilly said here, it is actually detrimental to your run and they can f*** you. Echo XP, sure, they can probably get Echo XP, right? Um, someone that's like a free-to-play casual player would probably care less about Echo XP. Right. So long as you're not locking it like asteroids, giving rewards like asteroids, so stellar jades, uh, primo gems, because most free to play players might care about those resources more, like those those free pulls more, or like um, maybe like character character experience. Right. I don't know. Maybe free to play players, could, but I think me as a personally as a free to play player, I care more about asteroids, stellar jades. You know, I care about more primo gems. And so if so long as you're not locking the harder content with those in there as rewards then i think it's fine yeah and then add to yeah. that like why the f they call the buffs and the outro skills can deepen instead of just calling it yeah. like a buff <laughs> right. like no, nobody I, I knows what the, the deepen is it, dude it's it's so bad like trying to learn tao chi's kit by reading it was one of the most painful experiences of my fucking life <laughs> uh, they really need to work on simplifying this shit for more people to understand because the, the universality <laughs> of the language is so fucking <laughs> lackluster yeah, right. yeah yeah do you know the couch or the heavy attack it's not a heavy attack. Like it says heavy attack. Colon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then when you cast ultimate, it's not a heavy attack. It's straight up like liberation damage. So a lot of people yeah, were thinking like, it's, yeah, then the T has a lot really of new players for Gian as well. They think his ult is fucking liberation damage, but it's all heavy. Yeah, damage. It's, it's confusing. It's heavy damage. It's like your Absolutely. ultimate, you cast it with your ult here, but then it counts as another type of damage. Yeah. And then like it's this so, attack it's counts so as so confusing. Only when because when I'm building Gian, I'm going for heavy attack and like. The way that it says in the the thing, like I know what he means because I I got confused with it too. I'm like, does liberation damage help with Gian's kit? Because I'm looking for a uh, heavy attack, right? So because but heavy attacks in a different different multiplier, like a different section than than liberation. I I, I get what he means. It's it's Old stupid. Was that resonant skill or resonance <laughs> liberation? Yeah, yeah. Forte, yeah. liberation forte. Yeah, it's like the yeah, standard the five star play You gotta tell me about four days right now. Yeah, they, they, they changed two to Oh, yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. These gotcha games keep releasing uh, in like an MVP state. We can make $40 million and uh, and just launch it and, and then we'll build on it after and they don't make complete games. And that's, well, that's a gotcha that's game. And so that's I feel how like it is. every mode should have just been expanded on. Why are there not... Um, like the hard mode bosses for every boss in the game. Like, where's Molten Rider? Why not Molten Rider? Like, I just feel like they released it early and I'm sure they can add that stuff later. But for me, it just feels incomplete. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the way I feel about it. You asked what they want taken out. Uh, for what I want taken out, I think the echo system needs to be simplified. I think having two different mats to upgrade the same thing is just waffling. I don't think they need that shit. Just make it when you hit five, it unlocks. That's pretty much it. We don't need the fucking tuner system. I'm okay with the tuner system though. So long, again, so long as we we get the XP, then I feel like we'll have more freedom to decide to like do what Fob does. But like the way that Fob's doing it, it's it's actually like eating a lot of the uh, your your tuner XP. And the way that if he if you do it the way Fob does it, like fishing for the first two stats, then you can. The only way to fix that is to. Um, refund us maybe at least at least 60 percent of the resources not 30 but at least 60. resource farming i want them to make the teapot system in Genshin Impact yes. actually good yes uh, i actually love the teapot i just wish they didn't waffle and uh fuck up the load limit so hard still not fixed and people say that Genshin fix everything that's wrong uh raids co-op raids that are optional that you can do uh guild pve a community world boss where everyone in the server fights it once they clear it everybody gets rewards uh, I also oh, want more so, challenging areas to So work. that's really MMO situation. Um, that's something that I did during... Uh, I experienced that during Arc Age. When you're not online at a certain time, when that boss spawns, people will feel left out, right? 
And then if you're locking those rewards on that boss behind some, there's some, you know, some kind of reward system for you killing that boss. It's going to make the people that aren't on 24 seven feel like shit. And then they'll feel FOMO. And then eventually if it catches up to that, that FOMO catching up to them, they'll quit the game. I think that they are going to be a flash in the pan if they don't, if they don't move quick. It's a great game that I think is going to be punished for, yeah, just not having enough to, to mm. kind of, honestly, no. honestly, to get people addicted long term. Like some of the Ew, Sonic so caskets many... or whatever, I look at them in this game and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to go get that right now. I'll climb up it. In Genshin, I see a, I see a little Animoculus up on top of something and I'm like, oh my fucking God. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. I gotta go all the way up there. Like, it's a chore. It's actually like, a, I'm going to commit eight minutes to climbing this mountain where this game you zip up it in two seconds and so he's yeah, so real for that exploration faster which is Wh awesome i think so, it, it was you know visceral. why you know why yeah, someone in poker stretch okay you want to know why it's easier in wuwa because they implemented the goddamn animoculus remember the animoculus is they weren't on your map in the very beginning of the game, they did not tell you where they were. So you were just running around like, oh, where well, there it is. Yeah, no, it, they implemented that very early on. You see what happens when a game does implement something very early on, the loot mapper, right? These things are very important for people that are exploring and they want to complete the map, right? They implement that very early on. Genshin, they did it so late that when the time they implemented it, it felt like a chore. So he is very real for this take. It is very, very valid. I do have one like small point uh, before we ask 3D is that what if, even if they were to, like let's just say Warring Waves, if they were to, let's just say double the content, just double of everything, double the bosses. But because fundamentally, I believe, like, especially for streamers, we are like a lot more hardcore. Because <laughs> the content is this big, we will just do everything in our power to just fill up this void it's kind of like a glass like even if you make the glass a little bit bigger you would just do everything you can just to rush in and just fill up anyways He's right. so do you think that even if they make the game bigger especially that people who just know life and just go all in it might not make that big of a difference or actually it will actually be be better yeah yeah i'll, I'll keep it above i don't think it makes any difference from a business perspective it is important for them to limit gotcha players because a they make more money from you right so for them from a business perspective they they can limiting the players right um is what they have to do to make the money and that is perfectly fine as a business model i mean i'm not stupid i'm playing a gacha game i know i know that they have to make money somehow and i'm fine with them doing it that way right um it's just time gating things and it's just how a lot of like mobile games are um and gacha games are they just do the same thing so yeah it's important for them to do that if that's what the gacha game is i think they brought like a lot of great valid points into there it's interesting to hear it's interesting to have these conversations, right, with chat and to, to hear the stuff that other content creators are cooking. The casual stuff is really easy to think about, right? Like, let's be real. You just add a house, add your homies, your babes, your, your you know, your wife who's your husbandos in a house. Talk to them, you know, give them nice outfits, uh, and, you know, date them, you know, you know, not date them, but, you know, unlock those lines so you feel like you're dating them. That's a pair, that, that's, that's a pair of social, you know, the, the shit that's right there, right? That's easy stuff uh, for casuals, but for the hard, Hardcore players, the only thing I thought about was like having an, a leaderboard. Um, at least like uh, people will feel incentivized to try and clear things as fast as possible and build as best as they can and start cooking new comps. And you can do what Sweet Tilly said, where it's like you're forced to use a single character. Okay, then you can start doing a leaderboard with that one unit, right? Wuwa has like such a good base right now. You know what I mean? It's so good. It has so much potential to be so good.